Dr. Elizabeth Plord, how did you get interested in this topic? I think that was kind of an interesting story, the, the background of how you got started looking into sunscreens. It's amazing because I love scuba diving, love snorkeling, have been around coral reefs for 40 years, been swimming in Hawaiian waters for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And while I was there last summer, every day it was so cold, I, could, I had to tell myself, get in the water. I like to swim every day for a couple hours, and I would have to inch my way in. It was so cool. And here they had headlines in the paper, coral is dying due to global warming. And I'm going, no, I'm shivering in here. This is not warm water. It's warmer. It's not as warm as, as I felt it in the past. So I thought, this doesn't compute. And being a medical researcher, I thought, I want to, want to find out why. So I uh, uncovered very quickly the research that is absolutely proves that sunscreen kills coral in 96 hours that quickly. The coral is dead. And so I thought, I want to save the coral reefs because they are dying around the world. And I uh, started to create a book that I thought would take mm, four months, maybe, <laughs> uh, just on coral reefs. And I had no idea when I got into them that they act as hormones. And being a hormone specialist and having been a researcher and written a book on hormones, I didn't realize I needed that type of expertise in order to explain what was happening with these chemicals. And then as I kept exploring and realized it's also blocking vitamin D, and now we have a huge worldwide vitamin D deficiency, and all the diseases that come up from vitamin D deficiency, I was just horrified. I realized that the world needed to know, so the book kept expanding and expanding and expanding. And, uh, and so now it's finally, uh, finally out, and it really covers how it impacts not only the coral, but impacts all the aquatic and marine life. It impacts human life, it impacts all mammals because they act as estrogens and testosterones. From, so from some of your early research you found that, that the, the sunscreens were actually polluting the waters that you were swimming in, just from people putting them on and then going into those waters. Well, the, the research shows that it actually physically kills it in 96 hours, even at a very, very low concentration that they did it when they were doing it in a laboratory setting. Mm -hmm. So, and the fact that they're dying around the world, that the two just go together. That, and the places, the tourist places that didn't have great tourism during events where the waters did warm, because if the coral is stressed by anything and then the, the waters rise a few degrees, that will kill them. But even though the water rose to those degrees in places that still didn't have tourism, they didn't experience the coral bleaching or the dying. So, and then the years when after all the tourism started flooding in, if the waters rose a few degrees, they experienced the bleaching also. Mm. So it really goes along that the use of sunscreen is absolutely being part of the coral death.